What's up guys? So due to popular demand on my last post where I asked if I should make a computer video tonight, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do something a little interesting. It's been done before, but it's not very common in the IT industry. Is we're going to turn one of my computers into a DVR with this HDTV video antenna. Now it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I already have the hardware equipment set up. Um, I've, da I've dabbled with it a few times, but I never really made it 100% a DVR and it'll work very well with my media server actually. So let's get into this. So first I'm gonna show you guys the hardware aspect of this and explain how I got it set up. So I have my multi OS in one PC here, which is a Dell Optiplex 330, which is just filthy. But basically this hosts several different versions of Windows and Linux. Um, and I have hardware wise plugged into it um, a couple of different TV tuner cards. Um, the reason why I have two is because I always have a lot of extra junk in my uh, IT excavations of taking apart um, dead machines and I always have spare parts like going out the wazoo. And so what I did was I took a couple of TV cards out of dead HP Pavilion Media Center and I always test equipment before I remove them from the PC. But not before I remove them, before I repurpose them. Because I believe that old tech always has a purpose. Uh, hence why I have so many computers. Everything does something different. That's why I got mad laptops, mad desktops all over the place in Brooklyn. But basically the HP Pavilion that this came out of was a Windows 7 machine that came with proprietary software uh, in the OEM version of Windows 7, you know, that comes with HP, like special software. And because it's a Dell, um, it actually, I can't get my hands on the original um, software that was actually written to be compatible with the cards. So I had to dabble a little bit and figure it out because also the connections I have for this computer aren't 100% like interlocked with each other. And I'll show you what I mean. So with the side panel off, you guys can see what I'm working with. I got several hard drives in here, which is how I got my multiple versions of Windows and Linux on here. More importantly, these are the TV cards. The one on the bottom is a TV Wonder card. And the one on the top is a WinTV card, which is the compatible, uh, the main the main one I use. The one on the bottom is a backup card. You guys know I like to have backup stuff. So, um, in my PCs, like how my gaming PC, I have two graphics cards in case one goes down. Um, but this is interesting. I have... I mean, it works. It's plugged right into PCIe, um, but on the um, HP Pavilion, you have this extra wire or this extra connector, which I think is power because data and power on this work fine in this computer. But my theory is pretty simple. I think the original HP Pavilion I took this out of didn't have enough power from the power supply on the onboard, on the motherboard to supply it just based on PCIe power. But this computer ha definitely has enough wattage to power it through the PCIe lane which is why I think it works better in this machine ironically even though it's Dell and it was made for HP but it just worked out well but now since I show you the hardware let's get into the software part well first I'll show you how to connect this thing up so basically at this point everyone should know how should know how a digital TV antenna works it's a good cable alternative if you want to get channels that you don't want to pay for it this is the antenna you're supposed to stick by the window i have my homemade makeshift one here for my tv that i use cardboard a splice coax cable and tin foil works good i get 40 plus channels this is a legitimate one that actually comes with external power so this thing could pick up more airways better comes with a little usb adapter here and then a power usb uh power outlet block brick thing i, I don't know what to call them but what I'm going to do is just use the provided USB power on my PC, plug this thing in, stick this by the window, and then I'm going to show you guys the software. Also, really quickly, this is so simple to connect it up. You just got to look for the TV in on it and put it in there. So now we're turning the computer on. I got all these settings set up so I can get into the right operating system. Um, yeah, we're actually going to be doing this in XP because this is the only compatible software I found and it will run in Windows XP. So we're using this program, Sishbo PVR. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to put this uh, set up as a, into your media server also, because I run a media server and I would love to DVR and record directly to it. So let's, let me show you guys how to do that. Okay, now that we're in the software, you guys are gonna see that there's like a TV guy we got going on. 
Uh, no info is being shown because I had a different antenna plugged in before and obviously I don't have it plugged in now so it's not going to show the right thing. We basically gotta go into setup here and basically do a channel search. So if we go into the tuner I have plugged in, we can do a kind of search as soon as this comes to life. It's just gotta communicate with the TV antenna, the hardware to the computer, all this kind of crap. Okay, now that we're in the software, you guys are gonna see that there's like a TV guy we got going on. Uh, no info is being shown because I had a different antenna plugged in before and obviously I don't have it plugged in now so it's not going to show the right thing. We basically gotta go into setup here and basically do a channel search. So if we go into the tuner I have plugged in, we can do a kind of search as soon as this comes to life. It's just gotta communicate with the TV antenna, the hardware to the computer, all this kind of crap. So now that it loaded it says all channels, you also gotta put in your location which and all channels and in parentheses OTA which stands for over the air. And we just gotta go to rescan here so we can do a channel search and it'll start searching all frequencies uh, for channels. So we're gonna let this do its thing and look for channels and I'll come back to you when it's done. So it just finished, I just got 78 channels and let's just show you guys, I mounted it temporarily to my wall, which is the closest to the window, which is what they highly recommend to do. So it hasn't downloaded the TV guide info yet, but it's got all the channels here I got on the left. Um, and we're just gonna go to a channel and just try to record for a few minutes. Uh, we'll choose Pix11 because I like channel 11. Just see if that'll load, if this channel doesn't load. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes you won't get the channel. So let's try a different channel I know we would get actually. Uh, let's try the mystery channel. All right, load this show CSI. You see how now the channel information is loading. Uh, and we're gonna go into record. We're just gonna record a couple of seconds of it. Not too long, we're gonna stop the recording and we're gonna to navigate to where it's recording to. It's being indexed, so we just gotta open the folder up. So I just pointed my DVR program to record right into the map network drive I have for my media server. And now if we actually go into my media server, now I'm on my media server PC and here we have the two test uh, shows that I did, CSI. We're actually going to uh, play it to make sure it worked and to see how the quality is. It looks like it recorded in 720p or 29 frames per second. The volume's a little low, but it did record to it. So there you go.